Why hasn't the establishment killed Imran Khan? They have the motive, they have the opportunity, but they haven't done it and there are three reasons for that. 1. His assassination would trigger uncontrollable nationwide protests. 2. Digital documentation makes plausible deniability impossible. And 3. It could fracture the military's unity and trigger internal conflicts. Now, these consequences are not acceptable to the establishment, which is why they're pursuing legal persecution instead. It achieves the same result as his death without the messy, unpredictable fallout. In fact, there are three other ways to deal with him that are even more effective. 1. Political disqualification and party dismantling. 2. Making him a political refugee. And 3. Keeping him in jail on fake charges. The establishment has always eliminated threats to their power structure, but with Imran Khan, they're making a show of it. They were changing the goalposts and making it look like a level playing field when it asks anything but. This reflects a changed global reality. The international scrutiny makes a covert operation too risky. Pakistan's economic crisis can't withstand additional isolation, and modern technology leaves a forensic trail. So for now, the establishment is keeping him alive. But should Khan's threat perception increase or if these containment strategies fail, the calculus may change.